Location plays a huge role in the value of your mineral rights. But how do you know if your minerals are in a hot area? Actually, it's really easy. I'm going to show you a quick way to do this using free online tools and software that you probably already have. We're going to do this in three easy steps. First, we're going to take a screenshot of where your minerals are located within the county on a map. And then we're going to look at the drilling activity in that county. And then we're going to take those two maps and we're going to overlay them and change the transparency or the opacity so that you can see both maps at the same time. And you'll be able to see where your minerals are in relation to the drilling activity of that county. We're going to look at two randomly selected tracts of land in Reeves County, Texas. Now, this is in the Permian Basin, which is the king of the shells. It is the most prolific um, area that we have in the United States right now. But even in Reeves County, there are areas where it's good to have minerals and areas where you're kind of out of luck. So this is the Texas Railroad Commission's GIS viewer. We're going to navigate to the top where you see a magnifying glass. Just click on that and select surveys. We're going to go down to Reeves County. And we're going to select abstract 104. Push query and we'll close out of this window. So this is the tract of land that we are interested in seeing um, if this is in a hot drilling area. So let's zoom out a little bit and that way we can see what kind of activity is going on. This doesn't look that great. Um, there, there are some wells to the south. You can see these horizontal wells here. But in this tract of land and in most of the surrounding areas, I don't see a lot of activity. So let's zoom out some more. What I want to do is continue zooming out until I can see the whole county. There we go. So here are the minerals. And let's take a screenshot of this, which we'll use later. Now that you have a screenshot of where your minerals are located in the county, let's go and find the drilling activity for that county. We're going to use Shale XP. And it's a paid service, but they have a lot of free things that you could do with it as well. So we're going to use the free tool. OK, this is Shell XP. We're just going to use a free area of this website. So go to State Directory. And we're going to find Texas. So here you can see the drilling activity in Texas. Anything highlighted in red is a hot area. But we need more details. So let's go and look at Reeves County. I'm going to scroll all the way down and click on Reeves County. So now we see only the county here. And you can see that the areas in red are the hot drilling areas. So this is where all the activity is. And the redder it is, the more drilling activity that there is there. So let's take a screenshot of this. And we'll use this to compare to the other one. Now that you have both of your screenshots, we can pull them into something like Microsoft PowerPoint and change the transparency or the opacity of the images so that you can see both of them stacked on top of each other. So here we go in Microsoft PowerPoint. We're going to drag and drop the screenshots. So I don't really care which one's on the bottom and which one's on the top. If you want to change that, you can just right click and you can go bring to front or send it back. But this is fine. Um, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that we're kind of comparing apples to apples here, and I'll adjust that later. So I'm going to put that one in the back and this one in the front. And in order to make the picture in the front transparent, I'm going to go to Format Picture, click on the picture icon, and under Picture Transparency, I'm going to change the opacity. I want to be able to still see these minerals right here, but also see the drilling activity. So I'm just going to move my maps around and change the size of them so that they overlay a little bit more exactly. That looks pretty good. OK, so now I can see why we saw the drilling activity that we did on the Railroad Commission's GIS viewer. The wells that we saw were either to the southeast 
or much further up to the north. And that's exactly what we're seeing in this map. So that's how you tell if your minerals are in a hot drilling area. Of course, there's a lot of factors that go into the value of your minerals, like the production, whether it's producing or not, um, what the offset production is like, how many wells there are, what's your monthly royalty statement, um, what does the decline curve look like, the oil and gas lease terms. There's so many things that go into it. But knowing if your minerals are in a hot area is important especially if you're interested in selling your minerals. If you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon so that you are notified when I release more videos. And feel free to comment about what you'd like to see videos about in the future.